Ninjago Dragon's Rising episode 14, Velocian. Now this episode uh, kicks back off from episode 13. I didn't speak at the cre uh, end part of episode 13, only because it sort of connects to episode 14. This is me and Sora episode based on the last gen, and I recommend spoils ahead, but this episode's been out for a month now, so you've been warned anyhow. This episode also does not contain any information based upon season six of Skybound, so adding that in there too. Now, the last gen starts off with Nia and Sora having to find a dragon energy core. It wasn't in the spot they thought it was, but they uh, go into this like little tomb and they try to open it up um, with these magical jewels. Sora and uh, Ryu sort of get into a little bit of a trap. They have the Clutch Powers uh, book manual from season 11. Basic stuff happens, Nia tries to match the cores in, then Sora is basically telling her in between this that she's been a curse to his team, etc, etc. Just opening it up to her, um, but little does both of them know, they just got cursed by uh, using these uh, magical elements that they shouldn't have been using, uh, which uh, only a djinn can break, and luckily enough, there is still a djinn, but that's for the later part of the episode basically these two spirit guys come out i forgot what they were called those guys come to attack with their sound radiation power and basically neon sort of really get hurt but um the two dragons were able to take sora and neon to a uh, cave hidden away and this has the last gin in there um the last gin actually knows the sora dragon i forgot what he called her but she does have a proper name that isn't Sora, uh, which is really cool again. Uh, and I like how they addressed that Sora's real name is Anna, and this uh, Sora dragon has a different name. So Sora isn't their real names, but I think Sora, 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 the human Sora, is a perfect name for Sora. <laughs> yeah, you got me. Anyhow, the last thing continues, um, basically explaining that since the curse from what? destroyed the sister realm got destroyed too Ni already knew that so she's basically just there uh just containing the information but apparently still he can grant wishes and it's sort of like a magic power that he has as a necklace and it needs to grow from hope and, and all that stuff and, and belief basically Sora believe uh whinges to him that basically ninja don't quit ninja never give up while they're fighting these spirits and oh Erico is like, you might as well just give up, just hit the caucus and die. But Nia's like, no, Sora's like to Nia, whoever whinges and complains like this is yada yada yada. And Nia's like, and then Sora's like, I don't do that, right? And Nia's like, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to talk about it. that. That there's a perfect scene. I love that. Anyhow, Erico make Sora makes a wish to Erico. Uh, about the curse basically the curse gets lifted and basically we get on our magical way neo wishes that she is able to find the location of the dragon energy core and they basically like a video game arcade get guided with this little compass so yeah we're on to now the breakdown is over and my thoughts in the episode i really like it Wish there was inclusions of Skybound information, like Nia referring to Nanakon, but I totally get the writers might not want to do that right now. It's something that you've got to build up, and I should talk about this in another video, but I will be talking a lot about Erica today in, on my channel, uh, so stay tuned for that. So please tell me your thoughts in the comments, like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Peace.